Um, um, if I were a superhero, if I were a superhero and I had superpowers, I would use my superpowers. I would use my powers to save. There are many ways to save the world, with issues ranging from world hunger, curing cancer, crime, clean water, climate change, to energy. You might think you have to be a superhero just to make an impact, right? Well, what if I told you that you could also be an engineer? Don't believe me? Well, if you are a superhero, who or what would you use your powers to save? To um, save people. Other kinds of superheroes? The people who have cancer. To stop pollution. Like war? If I was a superhero, I would save the world from an asteroid. My family from kidnapping or any kind of crime. I would use my powers to save Earth. Do you think you can be a superhero? Mm, no. Mm, no. Can you go to school to be a superhero? Well, actually, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Do you even think superheroes are real? Mm, yes. Oh, you do? Yeah, I pretty much don't think of superheroes as in powers, but more of what they think, like what's in their mind. Would you believe me if I told you that I've met some superheroes? No. No. <laughs> it's true. Superheroes are real. For example, what makes a superhero a superhero? Um, a superhero is kind, brave, and kind of very different from a, no a normal person because the superheroes have different kinds of powers. And what do superheroes do with their special powers? They, they go save people from, from, from danger. What if I told you engineers are superheroes? I kind of believe you. So, so. It's true! Engineers have special powers, and they use them to save people and make their lives better every day. Maybe. Oh, you still don't believe me. Let me introduce you to some of our faculty at the USC Viterbi School of Engineering. Superheroes help people when they're hurt or injured, right? Mm -hmm. Maya Matarik is an engineer developing robots that help people recover from injuries and strokes. Have you ever been sick for a day or two? Yes. Yeah. I like just want to go outside, but it's pretty hard when you're sick. What if you were sick for even longer, and you had to go to the doctor every week to take special medicine? Ellis Mang is an engineer using biomedicine to deliver drugs wirelessly to patients so that they can stay at home. Did you know scientists predict a global water shortage in the next 20 years? Yeah, I learned that a few when I was in fourth grade. A superhero would put a stop to that, right? Mm -hmm. Amy Childress is an environmental engineer finding ways to turn ocean water into clean drinking water right now. Superheroes stop bad guys, right? Did you know that cancer kills almost 1,600 people a day in the U.S.? Wouldn't you say that makes cancer a supervillain? I'd call it like a super supervillain. Stacy Finley is a biomedical engineer working tirelessly to stop cancer using computer models. You could say she's using computers to cure cancer. Do you think you have to be able to fly to be a superhero? Yeah, I would love that kind of superpower. Andrea Hodge is a mechanical engineer developing materials that might make flying safer for everyone. I think that's even better. Superheroes protect people, don't they? Yeah. Terry Benzel is an engineer using computer science to protect people all over the world from cyber attacks. Where do you think all these engineers got their superpowers from? From school, lots of learning, because without school you wouldn't know anything. From learning. I'm pretty sure they studied. As they went to school, they probably learned more and more. At school. Going to school. Schools. From school. I think the engineers got their superpower from school because um, you have to learn to be able to do engineering and things like that. That's right. Studying subjects like science, math, and computer programming 
can prepare you for a career in engineering. So it turns out, you really can go to school to be a superhero. Who would you use your powers to save if you were an engineer? Hurricane Sandy, but that was, I think that kind of was a long time ago, but I would have liked to help out with that. I would help the people in the Philippines who suffered from the typhoon and getting water and food. If I were a superhero, I would save people from floods, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. I would maybe try to like save people with cancer and like have a cure for cancer because lots of people are dying from cancer. I would save animals all over the world being neglected by their owners. I would use my superpowers to save the ones, the, those kids who really need it and the people who really need it, like the poor. Superheroes make changes in the world. You don't have to have a cape or clothes on to be one. You just have to, like, if you see someone in danger and you help them. I think engineers can be superheroes in a way, like they can make things to help people out. Yeah, I pretty much believe it. With their inventions and the things they make, it's pretty much their superpower right there.